I've got another little pipe work job to do. This is for an oil drain pipe on a stationary engine. It's basically a bit of steel tube uh, with a half inch BSP external thread on there and a quarter BSP internal thread on there and a, a through hole. Now I have got a three quarter bollocks. Not a three quarter bollocks. A three quarter BSP die there. But I haven't got a die hole that fits it. I need to make a die hole like that, uh, which I'm going to do at a, a later date. But I can't screw cut this. Uh, it's a 14 TPI thread, so I'll just screw cut it onto a shoulder. I think it basically screws into a taper. I'm just going to cut a parallel thread and you can put tape on it and just screw it straight in onto, onto a shoulder. It'll be fine. It's only a, only a drain for a, a small stationary engine. A bit of suitable material there, we'll get it out of that. I'm going to use a collar chuck because it's nice and handy. It's on here anyway, and I can get better camera angles because I haven't got the, the bulk of a big chuck there. Square the end of this up. So we'll need that machine and down in some three quarter BSP threads put on it. I need three mil off there. I'm working in metric. Three point two mil. All I've done is measure the a half inch BSP top. Like that. Zero the caliper. And then if I measure that. It gives us a direct reading of what needs to come off, 3 mil. Zero there. That's a 2 mil cut. So that should make the three mil. Probably three to take off. Recess in there for me scroll cutting tool to drop into. New brush with some hairs on it. Got a 14 TPI form tool there set on head, centre height and just make sure it's 90 degrees to the job by simply doing that. The gearbox is set up to cut the, the 14 TPI thread. As usual with it being an imperial thread I'm just going to leave the, the lead nut engaged once I start cutting. Just 
set the plate to make sure it's 14, which it is absolutely spot on 14. PSP paint fitting, one more cut and just about do it. Good. There wants to be a tightish fit. I'm sure that'll do for them. Also, I've got the half inch BSP die I can try out as well. And I will make a die holder for this. I've also got a, a three quarter die the same size. Okay, so that's that. That's done. And I've measured out the, the 90 mil which is there, part this off. So what we'll do John, we'll take the chuck up before trying to part it off and you'll probably have a much better result. Right now we'll try and part it off. The smoky stuff is cotton oil and the thing I get to a cigarette now. I'm still using these these bank wood tools. Nothing the matter with them.
mate, we've got a contest here. We've got an ER32 and an ER40. Mate, I'll probably call that a draw. I'm trying to throw your plug on the end, make sure I've got the feds deep enough. I'm sure you look deep enough. I think you thought you just would spell out what's coming in there, I know I did. Right, it wants to be a little bit deeper than that. Start it by hand like that. Put a pipe tape on there and that'll not be a problem at all, that'll seal it very lovely. Mate, that's the, that's the finished article. I'm going to try and get a photograph of this installed in the engine as I am with all the little bits and pieces I'm making for various steam engines and stationary engines. I'm sure that'll do the job for them. I've been tidying up in the shop this morning and I found a tool that I knew I had but I didn't know where to put it it's a tail stock die wheel that, that it was given to us uh, by one of my viewers quite an elaborate affair, it takes all the die sizes I'm likely to use except the very big ones it's simple how it works but it is very very nice got a number 3 most tape I have that goes in the tail stock that simply slides onto there and there's a pin, oh, I've just got a bolt to stop it revolving so it can slide, the yeah, die goes into there there's all different adapters for various size dies, and there's a one here that takes me up to the die. We're well, going to use it in a minute, which is three eighths Whitworth, which brings us nicely onto the job that I've got to do. The job I've got to do is simply to put some more threads on these studs. Don't know about there, that's that too long. I think, I think it was 8mm from that face to there, and they want to be threaded three eighths Whitworth. You see the 3 foot worth nut compared to a modern nut, which that's the equivalent of 3 foot worth. I suppose it's 10 mil coarse, such a 10 mil nut. And if you look at the nut, it's just there's something about the imperial nut, it's much more aesthetically pleasing, I suppose, if you like looking at nuts. But I mean, it's it is, it's there's a lot more material in it, um, it looks better, it's just, just better, I suppose. Same that. Metric threads do come apart when they're rusty, but what threads do not I need a method of holding these. Um, a collet will get a decent hold on there, but I don't think it'll get enough of a hold to allow us to cut that thread, and I don't want to damage the threads on there. So what I'm going to do is put some threads inside a piece of brass, probably about that long, and then split it. And then I can grip that in the collar chuck and that should hopefully squeeze together and grip on the actual threads itself. So it's gripping on a lot more surface area. It's not just gripping on the crown of the thread, it's gripping the whole thread and that we should be able to, uh, to machine it. So first thing is to drill this, tap it 3 8 width worth and then split it, just use a hacksaw, put a split in it and then see if it'll grip. Close down in the collar chuck and grip the stud.
I've got a, a large collection of whip-off taps and dies, cool stuff, but they're all brand new. Old doorman pressed to make they're all decent, decent stuff. Ready to that snow for your whip -off. So a little brass collar screws onto there, into the chuck, tighten that in, and roughly that should rip that nice and solid, stop it from turning, just by pushing in the brass, the brass collet, which it certainly appears to be doing. Right, it's all set up, tightened up, and put a little bit of lube on and see what, see what happens. Screw the, the stud out with a little brass collar and a little brass collet, it hasn't damaged the, the threads in any way, which is exactly what we want it to do. Right, that's the finished result. Nice, clean, sharp threads with no damage on that little bit there. I actually tried gripping one of them in an ordinary collet, and it, it did the job, but if it had, had spun, it would have damaged the, damaged the threads. Where the brass just doesn't do any damage. Who made a split colour? I'll keep that with a the die holder. As you can no doubt say there's been big changes in here. Uh, this is where the bench was, a big grey bench where I had the sandbox and I did all the casting. Uh, all that's gone now, but not forgotten it's gone to my mate's house uh, Mick. So I still be doing casting, just not here. I put all the parts here to extend this plasma table from two foot square to two by four. It's a straightforward nut and bolt job. I'll be doing a little bit of video of that, um, putting it up because Extreme Engineering are now sponsoring my channel. This is a blatant advert, so I've made the worst of it. If you want to talk about plant materials, ring them up, he'll look after you because he certainly has looked after me. Anyway, as always, just take this here. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. And a massive thanks for all the well wishes that have been coming toward me, Dad. Anyway, thanks for watching. As you can no doubt say, this chair's been transformed now. There was a big grey casting bench here, all that's gone. Uh, I've got all the pieces here to extend the plasma table. You yeah, bastard, I already dropped that. Stunning, stunning, you. Yeah. I'm going to concentrate pretty much simply on metal work up here. I'm going to do weather vanes and that sort of thing, uh, just to diversify a little bit to try and put a few pennies into the shop. Basically, maybe I shouldn't say that in case the taxman's watching. <laughs> right, start again. Huh?